I think this is the best way to respond to um, what what do you who do you call do you call them Karens? I guess they're Karens, right? Are they Karens? They must be. So th there's obviously a spat of Karen videos floating around on the internet, right? Which essentially I don't know, describes a middle-aged white woman who has a tendency to call the authorities whenever she gets into an argument with a fellow adult or something, right? They get into some sort of physical or verbal altercation, and she kind of, you know, inexplicably wants to call the manager, quote unquote, or call someone in some kind of level of authority to mediate or to rule the argument in her favor. It's a very bizarre way to kind of. Um, talk to people or conduct yourself in public but americans seem to think the police are like a customer service helpline right um or like i don't know the avengers or some shit it's very very bizarre but sometimes when i watch these videos i'm like why can't they just treat these people the way they are being treated i think there's too much trying to rationalize and trying to speak to them as adults when clearly they've shown you that they're not an adult right they operate in this whole different feel the different plane you have no idea where they are because some of these parents you don't know if they're high if they have a lack of sleep if they're just sexless if they're just angry bitter whatever you don't know what's going on in their bodies and in their minds but <clears throat> one thing is for sure they don't deserve um the benefit of doubt so sometimes i think it's best to give them the same energy back and i think this dude here this is from uh <clears throat> whilst a hip-hop it says uh the title was black hotel worker shuts down woman who called him the n-word as she begs for a room which is always a funny to me in it like the fact that in some place or especially more so in america um when you get into an argument with somebody um they tend to want to say the most hurtful thing to them right especially if it's i guess if it's it, it works mostly if the other person you're speaking to is an immigrant and you happen to be an indigenous white person in america and you really want to hurt their feelings it seems like the only way they can go is just to go racial there's no nothing else there's no other sort of like picking at the person's insecurities taking the piss out of their trainers i don't know something it's always just straight racial whenever they feel like they're losing okay i'm gonna go to his race i'm gonna call him some derogatory term that describes where he's from it's really bizarre but i thought this guy handled it really really well i'll play it for you guys here <clears throat> but you called me a uh, well, fucking nigger I understand <laughs> the way that video starts in it <laughs> you called me an effing <laughs> n-word and then the next sentence yeah I understand but my mother died your mother died so you said that it's like when um these streamers like you know one like my guy PewDiePie is a good example right he just that 10 or no the other guy is it Tifu he did that right where he's just like playing and then he just suddenly erupted and said the n-word it's so funny that that happens with some people's like you know reflex when things are going bad like instead of saying damn or sugar or whatever right they always go for the n-word that's their go-to from their back pocket it's like where were you like who raised you you know um what? Dana, but you call me a fucking I'm nigger sorry. no I'm sorry. you weren't sorry when you said it on the phone I'm <laughs> I love his so, energy. But at the end of the day, a, and the, the climate break. that we live in today's society, I, I, I understand it, but it's it's above me now. I love that. That's the best way to go with these kind of things. When you get in, because I've worked service industry jobs, right? I've had to deal with really, really shitty, horrible customers who just are entitled and um, unreasonable and just complete cunts, right? they're just the worst of the worst especially during like sale season right especially during boxing day sales and stuff it's just the whole, most horriblest people you can meet and usually it's the people that try to appear the most reasonable are usually the most um rude so sometimes you think you feel as if you need to give them the respect that they that their age sort of like requires you to give them then slowly but surely you get into conversation you realize hold on this this person's a fucking fool um and then they try and get into back and forth with you and the best way to do it is just to kind of you know um especially if you've had if your manager's got your back it works is essentially to say look we're just it's to kind of it's like a weird self-deprecation thing you're telling them without telling without saying anything that hey i'm just a i'm just a random dude that works in a retail shop i make five pound an hour no one gives a shit about me but unfortunately i can't help you because this is above me the person that is actually calling the shots is not even doesn't even know i exist you know what i mean that kind of a, that kind of a, a line and it kind of shuts them up for the most part because what else can they do they because they're demonstrating to you that they don't respect you as a worker 
and you're saying, okay, I receive your energy and I'm also telling you, I don't respect myself because I can't help you. <laughs> I need a room tonight. Well, there's the best restaurant next door. Oh, please, let me hear. My daughter's here. I'm sorry, but nope. I, mean, I was nope. on the phone when you said it. I said, I'm sorry. Please, I've been in a... I've had a horrible and I had today. a horrible time when hearing that. Great reply, and I had a horrible oh, time. That man. It's, it's above me. She called me a fucking nigger. You know what? I love this exchange because she tried to she tried to get like an ally. You know, these Karens love doing that when something is egregious is happening. They'll either start recording just as they're being a, just as they've stopped being a cunt, or they'll try and get some sort of you know compassion from strangers in the street like they're making noise like oh, oh my god and the woman asks oh well, hey what's going on she, look it's above me she called me a fucking nigger and Sir, that, my... that other lady stayed completely quiet she's like well i'm not getting involved in that one Grandma, just i die. understand that but it's above me, Let me please at, at the end of the day I need a, I and need... the... sir my grandma just i died. understand that but it's above me. Let me, please let me. It's above me. Sorry. The best card. restaurant is next door. <laughs> Sir, the rest of our family I understand is here. that, but it's above me. <laughs> please. I love it. I love it. I love him. And that was the best response ever that you could give to some, you know, deluded racist that thinks that, especially, forget the racism, right? Imagine you're just a dick to somebody in a shop and then you're asking them for a favor. Do you really think it's going to go your way? And then let's imagine we it, this happened. Oh, it's a racist. Uh, you know, you're insulting somebody and being a fucking racist. Imagine trying to then ask for some kind of assistance, like, uh, what's going on through your brain? Like, what, what's in there? Is there anything in there, actually? 